This one is about the workshop. So once you've created your world, maybe linked it up to other worlds, and kind of got a whole game ready for people to, to see and play, you might think about putting it on the Steam Workshop. The Steam Workshop is a part of Steam that allows all the games that are created and shared in my world to be viewed and downloaded by other people. Then they can enjoy it, they can play them solo, they can play them multiplayer, etc. So if you've done something you're particularly proud of and you want to put it on the workshop, very easy to do. If you look at the top right, there's F5, or you can click on the button, obviously, which is send to workshop. And that's all you have to do. It will upload it, or put it onto workshop, already for people to play but before you do that there's a couple of things you want to make sure that you've done for instance for me I've got this I've got this world and it actually links to another world so I've got two worlds in there as you know by default when creating a new world it will call it world 0001 or 2 etc so what you want to do is make sure that each world in your game has got a good name right, rather than world 0001 because it's not going to be very attractive on the workshop otherwise amazing game world 0001 so at the moment you can see at the top in the editor it shows you the the world's name I've, I've renamed this before but if I want to name that world I can click here name world or I can press F4 and then I can type it out so Navy's amazing game, which is probably not the uh, not the best name to call it. You want to call it something that uh, is relevant and kind of fits the theme of what you're doing. But the important thing to to bear in mind when you're sending to workshop is all the worlds must be linked. It will actually search through every world. So if this this only has one portal, but this portal might lead to this world that links to another 10 worlds that then link to other worlds, and it will search through all of them that are linked and make sure that every portal links to somewhere. If it doesn't, it will it will tell you. It will say you cannot up upload, uh, and, and it will give you the reason why. So if it does upload, you know all your links are okay, but it's a good, a good uh, way to, to make sure that you've played through Checked it all first, make sure everything works as intended, all the quests are, are doable, etc. Like you've not made a quest and then not put any of the items that you need to collect in the world, and that kind of thing. But once you've done that, you want to make sure that you go to the very first world that you want for your game. So in, in this in this case, this is my first world. This is where I want people to first come. So if if I was editing my second world. I wouldn't want to upload that to workshop because that would be the default world and it would pick up that the name of that world as the name of, of the game so you want to make sure you're in your original world the first world of your game that you've called the world something good because that will be that will be picked as the name for that game so whatever is the, the whole theme of it call your first world that name then once you're done you simply hit f5 or send to workshop and it will ask if you want to do it to make sure. Do you want to submit Ravi's Amazing Game to the workshop? Yes. It will go away. It will, it will start doing it. When it's finished, it will then pop up and tell you that it's finished doing it. There we go. It's done it. And there it is. Ravi's Amazing Game. I can subscribe to that if I want, but it also means any other user can subscribe to that, comment on it, vote on it, it's all done automatically. You can change this icon if you want, check out the guides that you can get to from uh, Hubworld, you can also obviously get it get to them from Steam, if you go to the Hubworld there's a portal there that will take you through the guides that will tell you that and, and uh, other, other great tips. I can change this icon if I want when I upload it. I can also, obviously, people can comment on the on the on the game what they think. They can vote it. They can favorite it. They can download it. 
I can also change uh, the notes so let's, let's, we can have a look at that that particular note for that game I can type in what I want in there when I've finished I can click at the top to return to my game or I can just do shift and tab that will also close the overlay what's your game uploading that's all there is to it obviously if I've realized that uh, I've missed something out or I've made an improvement to it I can change this world and then I could submit it to workshop again but in that case it won't add an additional game it will actually update the original one so if you've done a game then you've say added another couple of worlds on we've added some more quests or we've refined it a bit from feedback that you've got go back to your first world again send it to workshop again it'll then update the one that you've already got there and everyone can play it and anyone that's already subscribed the next time they log into steam will get the updated version so let's see that's the basics of workshop you can also look at the guides in edit mode if you want as you can see at the bottom we've got help guides so we we could click there and look at some some advanced features there's many other there's many other features that I've not covered in the tutorials but those are the basics hope, you, hope you've enjoyed them if you've got any questions do ask in the in the discussion forums if you've got anything you want added or changed or you think we could do with adding let us know I think one final tip I'll probably give is to do with terrains if I put this massive great terrain down here and then I click a house you notice obviously this house is flat at the bottom and if I stick that on the hill as you can see the hills going halfway into the house but it won't as I put the house down it will flatten the terrain around it if I undo put it somewhere else it will flatten this put it at the top it will be a more sensible place it will flatten the terrain which is a really nifty feature sometimes you don't want it to do that so if I didn't want it to flatten the terrain I could actually just hold down the control key and it wouldn't do and obviously the house looks a bit silly so in that particular example I probably wouldn't want to do that but if you if you placing down fences and things and the, the ground is already pretty flat and you don't want it to flatten out anymore you can just hold down the control so that's it hope you enjoyed the tutorials there'll be plenty more other videos any questions please ask take care